Oh, I've got lovely lighting. I mean, but I need it. You don't need it. I, oh my word, that's appalling. You don't want that. Sorry, I, I, I did fiddle with this earlier. It's just showing a human side to you. You know, you're on such a pedestal. God, I don't know. It's, just, it's too much responsibility. Your eye line, you see, now you're looking to your left. You bring your eyes around to your right. Now, nah, that's where your camera is. Well, of course, but I can't look at, I can't look at, I have to look at the camera so of you, and that's not going to work, is it? I mean, that's only slightly off the eye line. Jesus Christ. See, just, now you've just got a slightly lazy eye. <laughs> and hey, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that because there'll be people with lazy eyes watching this feeling victimised. So, so Steve, lay off them. Could you just act like you might do in one of your dramas? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where no. do you keep all your awards? Because I'm not seeing them on the shelf behind you. Have you hidden them? No, I've got them there so that so that they w so oh, I can look at them for reassurance during the interview. I can see I can see Northwest Touring Comedian of the Year, which is one I, I picked Literally. up a while ago. Oh, I can see Number One Dad, which one of my kids put on a tile, and that means more to me, Richard, than some of the other awards. But you're not going to undiplomatically say which ones they are. And obviously, the other big thing for you with the Oscars, and we share a love of this woman, although I think yours goes deeper and stronger, Barbara yes. Streisand. <sighs> you're, I didn't know that you were a fan. You know that I've got a two-foot sculpture of her head in my garden. Of course, yes, yes. Where do you get that? I've never seen them at Ikea. No, they're not in Ikea at the moment, but um, they should be. So fit. How do you stay so fit? <laughs> what, you mean just, just from looking at me, Will? I can just tell. In this quarantine madness, even though I'm doing some exercise every day, I put on a solid 15. 15 stone. <laughs> what happened on that fishing trip, Bryn? What went on? And you go, I can't say, you know I can't. And it, it was, that is one of my favorite ones. And then there's the, the other one is when Dave coaches is going to take us to the bingo. And he oh, yeah. goes, drinking our squash, taking, taking us, us the, the bingo, bingo in, in his bus. <laughs> On that wedding day, when Nessa comes out and you go, um, oh, you look lovely, Ness. And she goes, back off, Ben. You had your chance. You never took it. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you, what's all that about? Well, I think sometimes James and I have put little references in that we've never then explored. It's in episode three of the first series when the Welsh contingent go to Essex, Mick says to, to Nessa, do you drive Ness? And she goes, I don't Mick, which is a shame because I love a good ride. <laughs> um, so of course, then in the next series, she's driving a truck. <laughs> People were going, well, I thought Nessa couldn't drive. And our justification for that was, well, no, she just doesn't have a car. She doesn't drive at the moment. Sometimes you, you put things into a script. Yeah. And then three, four years down the, the road, you go, oh, God, that doesn't really make sense. Oh, well, let's hope for the best. We were then being driven back into Manhattan and we start doing voices. And we start to do Richard Burton. I, I think oh, this will be pretty good. And I'm doing my Richard Burton. And I'm going, oh, what a piece of work as a man and form and being, la, la, la. And then you start doing your Richard Burton, and I shut up pretty quickly. Because your Burton is by far the finest Burton I have ever heard. Ah, uh, coming from you, that's one of the greatest accolades I've ever received. <laughs> the viewer would love a glimpse. Well, now I'm terrified. Rob Bryden has put me on a small stage, albeit internetically, <clears throat> To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of rage and by opposing in them. Oh, <laughs> lovely stuff. Now the things that we see behind you. Can we start with the Elvis jumpsuit? The Elvis suit is a suit that I yeah. wore on my last stand-up tour. For my encore, I would come on as Elvis. <laughs> That's incredible. 
was uh, in contact with, do you know Amy Poehler, uh, who was on... Uh... No, but again, she's another one. She said she liked human remains, and, I, and that's a great example. I read that in a paper, and I was, like, walking around with my chest puffed out all day. It's huge. I was in contact with her agent, and my iPhone changed her name to Amy Pornhub. So she got very, very offended, and... I don't know how to fix my phone. Well, you, you, know, you know that predictive text will sometimes just go to a word that it's being asked to type a lot anyway. <laughs> Do you remember this? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 I can see it. Now that, oh, yes. that was when we were filming the wedding fair scene from the, I think the first series. Was that in the first series? Yeah. yeah. And, first series. and we were staying at the Vale Hotel and the yeah. Welsh rugby team were there as well. Now, look at the faces of all the men. So there's Matt, me, James and Larry, right? Look at our faces and then look at the faces of the women. There is a discernible <laughs> difference. Well, I'll tell you something. As I'm looking at that picture, something I remember. The rugby player who's sitting in front of me. Yeah. But he was extremely handsome and they had been... Uh, I was going to say rehearsing then. <laughs> <laughs> They've been practicing whatever they do. And and then they were asked to come and have a picture taken. So he'd obviously come off the thing for all of them. They'd had a shower and come in. And he sat down in front of me for the picture. And I suppose it's a bit rude, really, but I put my hands on his shoulders. And I could feel the sort of heat coming from his body and that strength. You know, the rugby players out strong they are and i can remember starting there thinking oh my god <laughs> yeah, but, I know, but I think you can see that. Look, look at look at the, <laughs> your face, Ruth. Your face and Ruth's face in particular. Mel and Joe are just, the, the, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. But but look at your face and Ruth's face. You, there's no doubt what is on your mind. <laughs> oh, shut up. So this is what a, a a YouTube channel looks like. I've never been in one. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. From my point of view, it's a very hot room at the top of a house. Uh, well, mine's a living room that uh, we call the living room. <laughs> well, listen, it's been as lovely as, as I'd hoped it would be. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.